Here's a little bit of information for all you um, people out there who own a 1996 or newer vehicle um, with OBD2 uh, emissions nonsense, right? Service engine soon light comes on on your vehicle. First thing that comes to your mind is you want to know what is wrong with your car or truck or SUV, whatever. Um, you want to know what the hell is going on, right? Well, what do you do? Normally you take it down to a garage and pay $30, $40 to have somebody do a, a diagnostic on your vehicle. Why would you want to take your vehicle down to a garage where they won't even pull your car into the shop? They'll come outside with this big computer and they'll plug into your vehicle and then they'll tell you what's wrong with your vehicle and then charge you 40 bucks. I don't agree with that at all. Personally, I recommend going out and getting yourself one of these. Okay. Um, I paid 50 bucks for this back in 2008. Okay. Like this thing is a lifesaver, let me tell you. The amount of money I saved uh, buying one of these, you know, 50 bucks, okay? I'm not saying go out and buy yourself a $400, you know, outfit. You don't, they do sell those. They are available. But all you need is one of these. I'll show you. Okay. First, what we're going to want to do here we're going to plug it in, okay? Now, turn the key on. All right. Um, we'll give it a few minutes here. And nine times out of ten, I can guarantee you what's going to come up. P0141 is the code. I can guarantee you that's what's going to come up. I didn't do the test yet, but I can guarantee you that's what the problem is. Na -na 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 -na. And if you guys get... Oh, look at that. Aha, P0141. Oh, there's two codes here, too. Look at that. Um, okay. So, we'll cycle through it. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's the same code, anyway. Um, for those of you out there, if you get P0141 on your Chev uh, pickup truck, um, uh, that means the oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor two, is done. Okay. That's what it is. And if I just confuse the living hell out of you, there are four oxygen sensors on this truck. Okay, four of them. And if you take it to your truck to GM to a GM dealership, there's $300 for one oxygen sensor. Okay, go to RockAuto.com, 40 bucks. So, um, you know, so right about now, you know, your mechanic at your local garage would uh, come out and tell you, okay, your oxygen sensor is done. Bank. One sensor two is at fault. That's why your service engine soon light is on, and then he'd send you a bill. And before he unplugs the diagnostic outfit, he is going to more than likely erase the code. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit sure. I'm going to erase the code, and start the truck. Service engine soon light goes out. Okay. So the uh, uh, little diagnostic tool is still telling me that there is a fault with the truck. There's still a question mark. So the emission system is still, you know, it's it's not at 100%. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, then, you know, he'll unplug it. And literally, it'll take him the same amount of time as what this video is running right now, which is, what, four minutes-ish? Um, yeah, so your local garage just charged you 35 or 40 bucks just to do what he just did, okay? Why not go out and get yourself one of these? I'm not saying go ahead and piss $400 away on one of these diagnostic tools that you're only going to use once or twice out of the year, right? And it's, it's still going to tell you the same thing. It's going to tell you, hey buddy, your truck is f So... With that being said, a little bit of information, I paid $50 for this outfit, and, you know, I only have one vehicle that's OBD, uh, OBD2 compatible here, so, you know, I, my 88 Caprice is OBD1, you know, I can't use this. Um, there are outfits that you can buy that is OBD1, but, you know, we're, the service engine soon light never comes on on that car. If uh, anybody owns a, an older vehicle before 1996, you'll notice that that light never comes on, and when it does, it's usually just an oxygen sensor. And if you have a carburetor, um, more than likely it's just the oxygen sensor. 
Um, but if you have fuel injection, then you got throttle position sensors and whatever, right? But still, it's not a big deal. So with this here, um, there's MAP sensors, there's oxygen sensors, there's sensors in the intake, uh, there's uh, crankshaft position sensors. All these sensors will trigger the service engine soon light to come on. And so your mechanic will do a diagnostic and, you know, with this machine, it won't be this exact machine, it'll be a little bit of a bigger outfit. Uh, it'll tell him exactly what the problem is with the truck on the display. With this here, all you get is a trouble code uh, that is stored in the computer on the, on the pickup truck. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to run inside. If you buy the same one like this, you'll get a CD with it and you'll upload a program onto your computer, download a program onto your computer, whatever. I'm not a high tech computer whiz here. You'll download a program from the CD onto your computer and then you can look at all the codes. And this goes for Ford, GM. Uh, I've noticed personally with one of these, um, it doesn't really work on Fords. Um, for some reason, it just can't pick up the codes. Like if your service light comes on in your Ford vehicle, um, it, it won't be able to pick it up. For some reason, I, not all Fords. I've had a few Fords. I know the Ford Taurus. I plugged this in it and um, there were codes set. But you couldn't ask, like it wouldn't tell you what was the problem with it. Uh, took it to a Ford dealership where they actually plugged in a, an, a diagnostic unit and it told them everything. This one here won't pick it up. I don't know why. Um, anyway, but it works for GM and there's Acura, Honda, whatever. Import and domestic, it's all there. So, for 50 bucks, you know, this thing paid for itself in the first year because, you know, the service engine soon like comes on on this. Well, hey, you know, I can find out what the problem is and I can address and fix the problem fast and I'm saving myself money. So, anybody out there who has a 1996 or newer vehicle, you know, 50 bucks for this outfit. You can't go wrong. Um, opposed to paying 35, 40 dollars every time your service light comes on and you hauling your your weeble wobble truck all the way down to your dealership or your uh, local garage or whatever, right, just to have the diagnostic done. You know, you'll save yourself 35 dollars. Which is more practical. Spend this, you have this for a lifetime. This thing will never die on you, okay? There's no batteries in it. <laughs> anyway, a little bit of information for you guys tonight. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you right back here next weekend. Don't forget about our promotional giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to TYC and you can be the lucky winner.